Hi, this is Chip Roy and I represent uh, the 21st Congressional District. And, you know, a little bit about my background. My family came to Texas in the 1850s. My great, great grandfather was a Texas Ranger in Hayes, Blanco and Travis counties. And I love Texas and I love everything about Texas and why it draws so many people from around the world to come here. Uh, my family moved west and my grandmother was the first woman elected county clerk in Nolan County, Texas. Raising my father as a single mom, he had polio and my grandfather had passed away of cancer. So she was a single mom in West Texas and she figured out how to pull herself up by her bootstraps and become the first woman elected. So that's my background. That's what draws me to the history of Texas and the greatness of this state. So I went to Congress uh, a year and change ago to represent you, to represent the people of Texas 21. And it's an honor to do so. And I campaigned on a handful of simple things. I believe that we need to get health care prices down and restore health care freedom so that you can afford health care. I want to balance the budget. It's pretty simple, just like you do at home. I want to secure the border of the United States so we can protect our communities as well as the migrants who seek to come here. And I want to make sure that our men and women in uniform have the tools they need, the care when they get home, and a very clear mission when they're out in the field. I think these are pretty basic principles. And finally, I want to leave everything else to Texas. Let's let Texas be Texas. Let's not bring California to Texas. Let California do what they want to do. Let Texans live the way we want to live in Texas. So that's what I've been striving to do since I've been representing Texas 21. That's what I will do uh, when uh, the people elect me again this November. I think that it's critical that we send a Congress to Washington that will challenge the swamp instead of being immersed in the swamp. We've got a Congress right now that won't pass a budget, that's passing legislation that won't do any good for the people, particularly in Texas 21, that refuses to acknowledge a crisis at the border, that won't address the hard issues of authorizations of military force, which I've been calling for new authorizations of force because our men and women in uniform deserve that clear mission. These are the kinds of things you expect us to do in Washington, not play political games. What do we want, more theater in Washington? That's what I see every day when I go there, theater. I see people grandstanding. I see empty chambers in the House of Representatives. We don't roll our sleeves up and do our job like you have to do every day. That's what you elected me to do, to change that. And we're getting some progress. I had a bipartisan effort to put, uh, put do an op-ed with some of my Democratic colleagues calling on that new authorization of force I just described. That's movement in the right direction. And we're starting to get a, a coalition to do that. I've got efforts to change the way we do spending so that we can actually balance the budget. We've got bipartisan interest in doing so. I just introduced legislation this week, bipartisan legislation, to make sure that our border patrol agents can see the border, clear Carrizo Cane, and move their cars and vehicles along the Rio Grande River. That's the kind of stuff that the people of Texas 21 want to see. They want to see action. So this is what I will be doing in the next term when I go back to Washington. And I think one last point that needs to be made. The United States of America is a great country. We should be proud of the United States of America. We should remember that that greatness is something that has made the world better, and we want to export more of that to the world. And we should not have people in Congress, like my Democrat colleagues, sitting on their hands when the President of the United States talking, talks about American exceptionalism, talks about a veteran who had his great-grandson in the gallery with him, and uh, the greatness of this country that allows his great-grandson to prosper, or a child who wants to have school choice. This is the kind of thing that my Democratic colleagues were sitting on their hands rather than standing up and applauding what this country has to offer. Let's be proud of the United States. Let's be proud of Texas. Let's defend all that made this country and this state great. And let's work together to make sure that we have the prosperity for our kids and our grandkids that they deserve. Thank you.